Shout it loud, hallelujah. Shout it, Jesus. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Shout it, Jericho destroying, hallelujah. Let the person who wants the largest breakthrough at this service shout the loudest, hallelujah. Raise up your right hand to the heavens now and declare this loud and clear. Say this with all your strength. The altars of Jehovah was removed from Israel and they replaced with the altar of Baal. And Elijah had to come and deal with that altar of Baal. Can you say this loud and clear? Every altar of Baal assigned against my life scatter in the name of Jesus. Deal with the altar of Baal. Deal with the altars of Baal. In Jesus name we pray. Now say this loud and clear. Every agenda of darkness on my existence. Can you say that with only anger? Backfire in the name of Jesus. Deal with that agenda of darkness in the name of Jesus. That's right. Masekaya Boshentera Boko Center. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you declare this without fear or favor? Any wizard in my environment shall not prosper. Can you declare it loud and clear? That's right. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to decree it. Maseta kaya bo shendera bo kompo. Yes, decree poverty on the wizards. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. One more prayer to be prayed in holy anger before you sit down. Say, fire of God. Carry your anger to my tormentors. Can you shout it loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout it? In the name of Jesus. To carry the anger to the tormentors in the name of Jesus. Masenta Kaya Boshendera Bokopola Basanta. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for a time like this. And we thank you for the mightiness of your name and your power. We thank you because your power is the absolute power. And we thank you for the wonder working power in the blood of Jesus. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I pray tonight that as many people as I gathered at this meeting, that they will not go home the same. Amen. Let your favor revolution fall upon their lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let Everyone gathered there tonight. Move from strength to strength and from glory to glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In loud amen. Let's have a say, God bless you. Tonight, we're having a prayer meeting. But let me share with you a few things before we begin to pray. And it's good for you to listen to this very, very well. And listen very attentively. 
the Bible says, a man shall receive nothing except he be given from above. A man shall receive nothing except he be given from above. So there are two ways you can receive things. You can receive from above or from beneath. If you receive from beneath and the Almighty has not really given it, you still do not have it. Although you may think you have it. A man shall receive nothing except he be given from above. If he is given from beneath, from below, he may go around displaying it. But as far as heaven is concerned, there is nothing in his hand. Nothing. He is carrying something. But in the book of heaven, it is really nothing. A man shall receive nothing. Except he be given from above. I pray that the blessing from above that will give you a radical turnaround breakthrough will fall upon your life in the name of Jesus. And although the year is running to an end, as far as God is concerned, miracles happen anytime. And so your testimony will not expire with this year. Let your amen roar like thunder. I speak to you on what I call the mystery of obscurity. The mystery of obscurity. Obscurity is from the word obscure. It's obscure. When you say something is obscure, it's not clear enough. The mystery of obscurity. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 8. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 8. And listen to this very clearly. If the Lord lifts you up, nobody can bring you down. But if he decides to put a person down, nobody can lift that person up. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 8. He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dungeon. Where is he taking them to? To set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them. Have you found verse 8 in your Bible? Can we read it together? Let's go. There is a position called the dust. There is a position called the dungeon. The dust, the dungeon, they are all positions. But it's God that lifts a person from that dust and lifts a person from that dungeon and then sets him up among princes and to make him inherit the throne of glory. I prophesy upon your life here tonight. That no matter how they struggle to put you down, your God shall lift you up. He 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 shall lift you up. In the name of Jesus. The message tonight is what the destiny of some people have been waiting for. That is the dust position, the dungeon position. These are obscurity positions. Let's move quickly to First Samuel chapter 16. 1 Samuel chapter 16, I read from verse 11. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 11. Are we there? And Samuel said unto Jesse, I hear all thy children. And he said, There remained yet the youngest, and behold, he kept the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down. Till he come either. And he was and he sent and brought him. I was a ruddy and withal of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him. 
but this is he that shall be your lot in Jesus name then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren and the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward so Samuel rose up and went to Ramah verse 14 but the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him and Saul's servant said unto him behold now an evil spirit from God troubled thee let our Lord now command thy servants which are before thee to seek out a man who is a cunning player on hand up and it shall come to pass when the evil spirit from God is upon thee that he shall play with his hand and thou shall be well and Saul said unto his servants provide me now a man that can play well and bring him to me then answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse the Bethlehemite that is cunning in playing, a mighty valiant man, a man of war, and prudent in matters, a comely person, and the Lord is with him. Wherefore Saul sent messengers unto Jesse and said, Send me David thy son, which is with thy sheep. Verse 21. And David came to Saul and stood before him, and he loved him greatly. And he became his armor bearer. Verse 23. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul. David took a harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well. And the evil spirit departed from him. We're talking about the mystery of obscurity. The same first Samuel chapter 17, verse 15. But David went and returned from Saul. To feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. Same first Samuel chapter 18, verse 2. And Saul took him that day and would let him go no more home to his father's house. What do we mean by obscurity? This could mean almost 10 or 12 things. It could mean almost 10 to 12 things. It could mean a condition of being unknown. Somebody is unknown. It could mean uncertainty of meaning. They can't understand you. It could mean uncertainty of expression. It could mean the condition of being unimportant. It could mean darkness. It could mean dimness. It's dim. It could mean something that is not distinct. It could mean something that is difficult to understand. That's what obscurity means. It could mean lack of adequate information. It could mean being nameless or being anonymous. But the most dangerous meaning of the word obscurity is the absence or deficiency of light. There is no light at all there is deficiency of light. When we say darkness, darkness originates from a total absence of light. Darkness can also originate from dimness, from partial absence of light. So a thing is obscure when it's so overclouded or covered as not to be easily perceived or seen. And when it's dark, it's hidden from view. Then when something is obscure now, it means it's so difficult to perceive or penetrate. What then do we mean by the spirit of obscurity? David was highly gifted. David was highly talented. David was a shepherd. He was a warrior. He was also an excellent musician. Most of those things you see in the Psalms, they are songs of David. A songwriter, a praise worship leader, a musician, a warrior, a shepherd, very gifted, very talented. With bare hands, he killed a lion and a bear. The same David went to the war front and demolished Goliath with an ordinary, what in Nigeria we call catapult. But despite his talent, he was always drawn into the wilderness to keep company with the sheep. Every time the hand of destiny propel him to their limelight, a contrary force pushes him back, back into the wilderness. 
This was happening to David on a regular basis. Handsome, good looking, intelligent, very bright, warrior, valiant, musician, talented. But anytime destiny wants to push him forward, there is a contrary force that pushes him backward, pushes him back into the wilderness. Can you raise up your right hand and declare this louder than anyone around you? Say, every power pushing me back into the wilderness be arrested now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare these prayers. Masekataya Boshendera Bosanda. In Jesus' name we pray. When the time came for a new king to come to Israel, and God had already rejected Saul, God told Samuel, You will find the next king in the house of Jesse. And Samuel took his anointing oil and got to the house of Jesse. The spirit of obscurity has already pushed David into the background. If David had wanted to vie for the position of president of that country, his own father would not have voted for him. When they say, where are your children? They did not even bother to bring David. They did not consider him as if he existed. He brought only the ones he considered to be his children. But remember the verse we read. He lifted the poor out of the dust, out of the dungeon, and raises them up. So the spirit of obscurity, in spite of the talent of David, pushed him to the wilderness, made him unimportant even before his own father. And therefore when Samuel came there, the father of David did not bother to parade David in spite of his talents. None of his brothers had ever killed any bear or lion with bare hands. None of his brothers could play that, the instrument the way he could play it. But yet, something was pushing back. By destiny, David should be in the limelight. But the spirit of obscurity repeatedly kept him at the back bench. Kept him at the back bench. What then is the spirit of obscurity? It is the spirit of being talented but being unknown. Being gifted but being hidden. Many need to pray today with boiling anger. Because of this kind of spirit. Strange spirit. What is the spirit of obscurity? Is for the enemy to localize your championship. You are a village champion instead of being a country champion. What is the spirit of obscurity? Is to be present but absent. What is the spirit of obscurity? Is for somebody to be covered with spiritual cobwebs. Do you know that some people, they even physically see the cobwebs covering them. Some people even tear off the cobwebs with their hands. And you see cobwebs in their hands, but you don't see it on their faces. That's the spirit of obscurity. The spirit of obscurity is to be born great, but tied down. The spirit of obscurity is what makes the inferior to rule over the superior. The spirit of obscurity is the head that has been relegated to the tail. The spirit of obscurity is somebody is brilliant, but disgraced. He has taught others to pass the examination. Those ones are scoring high marks, but he who taught them is now failing the same exam. Brilliant, but disgraced. What is the spirit of obscurity? It's a front row candidate cleverly arranged to the back. What is the spirit of obscurity? It's being ignored at the corridor of greatness. What is the spirit of obscurity? It's unexplainable hatred. They just hate you for no reason. Your presence is attracting antagonism. Even those who were friendly before, when you now appear, they now become very, very unfriendly. What is the spirit of obscurity? It's when somebody's presence is always acquiring misfired aggression. They are not the offender, but they are taking it out on you. What is the spirit of obscurity? It's when somebody is running and running and running, but is making no progress. What is the spirit of obscurity? It's when somebody is suffering from testimony hunger, testimony famine. What is the spirit of obscurity? Is for the shining star to be shut down 
I decree by the decree of heaven at every hunter trying to shoot down your star shall shoot themselves, shall shoot themselves, shall shoot themselves, shall shoot themselves. Let your amen roar like thunder in the name of Jesus. What is the spirit of obscurity? It's stars that are in the sky, but they are being made to wander. They just made it, they're just wandering stars. What is the spirit of obscurity? The stars that have been caged. The eagle becoming the chicken. What is the sweet of obscurity? It's mysterious closing of doors. Mysterious closing of opportunity doors. The enemy just closes all the doors of opportunities. What is the sweet of obscurity? It's when the enemy renders you helpless. Nobody to talk to. Nobody to share with. Nobody to pray with. Nobody to pray with you. Nobody to confide in. Nobody to confide in you. That's the spirit of obscurity. And it's a terrible spirit indeed. What is the spirit of obscurity? It's a country what you call limelight lions. They will, they will attack the person and chase the person back into the shadows. What is the spirit of obscurity? It's being kept in the backyard and dustbin of life. What is the spirit of obscurity? It's the spirit of the dust and the dungeon. What is the spirit of the dungeon? It's a person's position or reward being given to another. What is the spirit of obscurity? It's prevention from shining. Prevention from shining. What is the spirit of obscurity? It's gifts dying in a person undiscovered. This, beloved, is a very serious matter. They say that an average human being uses only 15% of his brain power before he or she dies. And they say that the greatest burial of potential, in fact, the richest place on earth, the richest place on earth is the cemetery, because in that cemetery you see a lot of buried talents, buried potentials that are gone forever. Saul had a son called Mephibosheth. Immediately the father died, Mephibosheth was confined to a desert. One desert called Lodeba. But when David came to the throne, God relocated Mephibosheth back into the limelight in Jerusalem. I decree by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that anyone here today that the enemy has relocated you into an uncomfortable position you shall be relocated back to dry place in the name of Jesus. And then if you are mistakenly relocated yourself from where God wants you to where God does not want you, you shall be relocated in the name of Jesus. The spirit of obscurity, despite hard work, talents, qualifications, Potentials, anointing, remarkable achievements. The spirit of obscurity does not allow people, such people, to shine. It keeps them away from going to the limelight. A business can be affected by this spirit. Children can be affected by this spirit. Talents can be affected by this spirit. Destiny can be affected by this spirit. In spite of the talents, qualifications, beauty, Handsomeness, brilliance, remarkable achievements, hard work. That thing just say no, just stay down there. You are not supposed to shine. You cannot rise. Stay here. Be relocated into wilderness. Be feeding the sheep. You cannot get there. I pray that that power of obscurity, a sign against anyone here, shall be arrested tonight. It shall be arrested. Shall be arrested. Shall be arrested. Shall be arrested. arrested. Shall be arrested. Shall be arrested. In the name of Jesus. Somebody wants to travel to Europe to do a PhD. And they did a family get together to say, do send off for the person. After they finish all the family send off, the grandmother who was there invited the man inside. I said, bring out your palm. 
I want to pray my own prayer. They have prayed their own in the sitting room. Now let me pray my own. And the brother gave the woman the hand. Then all of a sudden, he had <coughs> and a big saliva to the hand of the brother. I said, no, no, this is, I don't know how you, grandma, you can't do this, you can't put this kind of thing, man. I said, shut up. Use it to rub your head. And use it to rub his head as commanded. Beloved, while he traveled, anytime the examination was closed, he runs mad. When the exam is over, he is normal. Very brilliant chap. What the enemy pushed him to the background. Can you raise up your right hand again? Say, every power assigned to push me to the tail. You are a liar. Duh! In the name of Jesus. It is important to pray now. That's why you are in this meeting. Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus, them we pray. This is a very serious matter. I want you to understand what we are saying tonight. I was in the, in the UK, England. And this beautiful lady came for counseling. Bright, innovative, but something was wrong. Immediately, she got to that country. She found that things were not working the way she wanted it to work. Very brilliant. She needed a house. There was no house. She needed a job. There was no job. So she now devised a trick. The trick was this. She ran into the marketplace one day where, they were, where there was an open shop. And they were doing market on the streets. She ran there. Was scattering the store. She pretended to be mad. So they quickly phoned the police. They arrested her. She was not mad. She just wanted to pretend to be mad so that when they arrest her, at least they will give her a house. And they will be giving her some small, small money to eat. So she pretended to be mad. They arrested her, took her to the hospital. But she did not bargain for the fact that they would be giving her regular injections. Regular mental problem injection. And she, she was not sick. I said, well, I kept, they, so they were making it compulsory for her to come and be taking the injection. They gave her a house. She was getting money. But it was compulsory to be getting the injection. Any time she didn't come, they were at her house to bring her to get it by force. She was getting big and big and big and big and big. She now came to me and said, man of God, I'm in trouble. What can I do? I said, but why did you do so? But with all these papers you put before me, you, you, you did school certificate in Nigeria, you have six A's. Do you need to pretend to be mad before you, you can be blessed? But it's not his fault. The spirit of obscurity is so clever and they can use any power to push the person away from the place of glory. They are anti-glory powers. What is the way out of this kind of thing? But I told you, we, we, have, to, we, we have prayers to pray. And when the year is running to a close like this, there is not much time to talk. Christ. We need much prayer. The first thing to do, anybody who wants to get rid of that spirit, so completely surrender your life to Jesus. Not fake new birth that many people are practicing these days. No. Two, you need to repent from every known sin. Repent. Any sin in your life will only strengthen the enemies to fight you. Three, pray what you call inquiry prayers. You want to find out what your destiny is. You want to find out what level you are in that destiny now? I want to find out how far you, are, you have to go. Four, you need to address the powers we call the star hunters who hunt down people's stars and ensure that it does not shine. Five, 
You need to now pray to recover your destiny. Because once your destiny is tampered with, you need to pray recovery prayer. And last, you need to pray obscurity destroying prayers. You destroy that part that wants to keep you at the back where you are supposed to be at the front. You waste those parts that wants to waste your glory when you should have the glory tonight. We have plenty of prayers to pray here. And I want you to pray each prayer with everything that is in you. The Lord can change a person's destiny in one second. One second. Although the year may be running to a close, but miracle can still happen. And when God has not declared and blown the whistle that the game is over, you still have the capacity to win. Rise up on your feet now. And all eyes closed. But you see, if you are here tonight, and you are here to surrender your life to Jesus, right there where you are, just bow down your head and say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. To say that short prayer with me, immediately we close. Let's find a way to the altar here. So that we can pray more with you. The prayers of tonight. I will not stop any prayer until I've seen things happening. Once things have happened, I say, okay, stop. Let's go to the next one. Pray like a man or woman from another world. I want you to roar in desperate prayers. If the Lord brought you to this evening's meeting, I think you should congratulate yourself. Because it is for a purpose that you are here. You will raise up your voices like fire and like thunder. Every power stealing my glory. Is thou the loudest you can shout this prayer? You know the day the Lord declared that the glory has departed from Israel was a problem. There is a woman over there. You are right there at the back. Pray this prayer well. The enemy has been stealing from you since the moment you were born. Why don't you recover everything tonight? I want you to roar in desperate prayer. Every power stealing my glory hear the word of the Lord. Die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. Thou power of God Move That's right In Jesus name we pray Uh That's right That brother over there The Lord shall I should tell you whether it is convenient for the enemy or not you will rewrite your family history for good aha every power firing arrows against my star somebody needs to shout this loud and clear your time is up In the name of Jesus, enough is enough. Move to your next level by the power of the Holy Ghost. Move to your next level by the power of the Holy Ghost. Move to your next level. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, Oh God, our And lift me up. Can I hear the sister shouting this? Is that the loudest the sisters can say? Brothers, let me hear your voice shouting in like thunder. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and sing it. 
Said Laudankia. Masikaya Bushintera Bokosentera. Riapoli Katala. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to, this next prayer, you are first, first of all, go to sing it in a song. Then you will convert it to prayer. Convert it to machine gun prayer. I can see everything turning around. Turning around. Turning around for my faith. I can see everything turning around. Oh yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. I can see everything turning around. Oh yes, sir. I can see everything turning around. Turning around. I can see everything. See everything. See everything turning around. Yes, yes. I can see everything. Oh, yes, sir. I can see everything. I see everything. I see everything. I can see everything. Turning around. Turning around. Turning around. I can see everything. Turning around. One more time, I can see everything. You will now command say everything. Turn around for my favor in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare. That's right. Come on, everything to turn. Everything. To turn around to your favor. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around in the name of Jesus. Turn around in the name of Jesus. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around in the name of Jesus. Masseta kaya bo shendera bo kopola bakaraba. Open your mouth, open your mouth. There must be a turn around. Everything turn around for my favor. In Jesus' name we pray. You have prayed it well. And it is so in Jesus' name. But you have not converted it to machine gun prayer. When you say everything, hear the word of the Lord. Turn around to my favor. You now begin to command, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Open your mouth and pray it again. Yes. Open your mouth and declare it. Yes, 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 yes. Today is today. Everything. Hear the word of the Lord. Turn around. To my favor. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around, turn around. In Jesus' name we pray. What a wonderful night to be here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shout this now loud and clear. Every embargo on my star. Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, break the embargo. In the name of Jesus, go send the kaya bo shante raba kaya ba. Riabo bo shante kaya bo shante. Aha, 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 aha. 
In Jesus name we pray. Right now, the hand of God is going to come upon some persons here. Those persons, what you have been noticing in the last few months is for you to get to the door of great testimony. You get to the door of great testimony and the enemy is trying to shut the door. That's what you've been noticing. But right now where you are, the hand of God is coming upon those people. And that yoke is broken completely. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. That's five. 21, 22. Let there be silence, beloved. Those powers that have been shutting the door in your face when you are close to your breakthrough, those powers have been arrested now. So every power time me down. Some are born great, but tie down. Every power tie me down. You are a liar. Duh. In the name of Jesus, Masakayabo Shenterabakoyaba. That's right. Masekaya Boshendera Boko Sopola Kayaba. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. This next prayer will release many people. From the bondage of stagnancy. Say every covenant, conscious, unconscious, made by my parents to tie me down. Can I hear the sister shouting this? Is that the loudest who can shout it? Is that the loudest who can see shout it? Aha. Brothers, shout it with only anger. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Command the covenant to be broken. In the name of Jesus. Masekaya bo shendera bo kopola baraba. Daribo sepela kaya bo shendera ba. In Jesus name we pray. So every power. Planning. To bury my star. Is that the loudest you can shout? I want you. I bury you now. In the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Say. Divine favor. Divine favor. Divine favor. All right. Look at me. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare. 
in Jesus name we pray I want to sing that song again sing it with a voice louder than any other person sing it with faith I can see everything turning around turning around turning around for my faith I can see everything oh yes sir Oh yes, I can see everything. Turn it around. Oh yes, sir. I can see everything. Turn it around. Turn it around. I can see everything. See everything. See everything. Turn it around. Oh yes, oh yes. I can see everything. Oh yes, sir. I can see everything. I see everything. I see everything. I can see everything. Turning around. Turning around. Turning around. I can see everything. Turning around. One more time. I can see everything. Shout hallelujah. Stretch out your two arms now and let your amen be super dynamic. Father, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy upon all those who are here tonight that whether the enemy likes it or not, whether it's convenient for the enemy or not convenient, the power of divine favor will move you to your next level. In the name of Jesus. Whether it is sweet in the ears of the enemies or not, I command you, whoever you are, arise and possess your possession. 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 Be lifted up. Be lifted up. Be lifted up by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. That is the conclusion of our first prayer session. Second prayer session will start now. Bible says, as from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. Plenty of things to take by force here tonight. Therefore, let your prayer in this second segment be much more devastatingly cruel to the enemy as you roar in prayer like a lion that has come from heaven. Every satanic umbrella covering my glory. This is a prayer you need to shout loud and clear. Catch fire! In the name of Jesus, set the umbrella ablaze. By the power and fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. That's right. In Jesus name we pray. This prayer is for so many people here. Say every evil hand. Laid on my star. With a in the name of Jesus, with her. In Jesus' name we pray. Now say, strong man, assigned to bury my potentials. In the name of Jesus, Strong man, assigned to bury my potentials. Die! 
Pasopola kaya bo shende rabo contenda raba santa. Oh yes, oh yes. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says creation is groaning to see the manifestations of the sons of God. You need to manifest for the world to know that you are the light of the world that cannot be hidden under a bushel. Say, you mention your name, Daniel Olukoya. Hear the word of the Lord. Is that the loudest who can shout? Manifest in glory. In the name of Jesus, command yourself to manifest with glory. That's right. Manifest with glory. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. I want to pray for these three persons. Father, I pray for these persons. That that instrument of the strong man that has been closing doors against you, the instrument of the strong man has been sitting on your letters of breakthrough. The instrument of the strong man that has probably refused to let you go. I destroy the instrument now. In the name of Jesus. Possess your possession. 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 In the name of Jesus. So every power planning my obituary. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it loud and clear. Aha, aha. Baka sepe la kaya bo shanta raba. Ribola kaponda kasanta. In Jesus name we pray. Point to the person next to you. And you angrily declare. That you. You angrily declare. So you. Shall kill every serpent. Assigned against you. In the name of Jesus. Declare it loud and clear. That's right. In Jesus name we pray. Point to another person. Say you. Shall rise. And rise. And shall. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Point to the third person. Say every disaster program against you and your family shall die in the name of Jesus. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Three more prayers before we go. Every power assigned to swallow me. Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Yes, refuse to be swallowed. Refuse to be swallowed. Maseka tenda ya bo shende rabo kopola bakayaba. 
In Jesus' name we pray. This particular prayer, pray with anger. Strong man of satanic delay. Die in the name of Jesus. That's right. Bosente ke poshente rabo konta. Rabo le katala kaba. In Jesus name we pray. Every satanic mirror and witchcraft gadgets monitoring my life. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout it? Every satan. Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Pick any song of praises in your own mouth and sing it loud and clear. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Great is the How great is this Lord? How good is this Lord? Forever they say, Over by the waters of the night red sea, I miss the never Trust in me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Father, I commit all your people here unto your holy hands. It's written that they to the hills will raise up their heads. There comes their help. Their help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Do not suffer their feet to be moved. For that keep it, they will not slumber. That keep it, Israel shall enter slumber and sleep. The Lord shall keep your going and your coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. And that shall any plague move near your camp. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.